Hello everyone and welcome back to my crafting world. This is Anna. I wanted to share with you something that I made uh, yesterday. It I am calling it a handbag waterfall folio. So I had an idea, you know, I've been looking, you know, I love, I love bags, whether they be handbags, gift bags, I love bags. So I thought, well, why not make a handbag and, uh, you know, have it be functional. So I made this handbag and it is made out of chipboard. There isn't a whole lot of decorating on it because it is, you know, a handbag. So I used, I think it's 50 or 52 point chipboard and I had the paper that I used for this is the lost and found ruby and I had gotten this at Tuesday morning last year and I've done very little with it so this is the paper pad that I used for the project now for the front all I did was so I did cover it in red you know uh, 65 pound cardstock and I used, um, you know, the, the paper pad, the Lost and Found Ruby for the panels. And I did use some glitter paper for, you know, the, the mat on the back on this one. And then also for the corner pieces. And for the, I, I added a little charm to it. I wanted the ball chain, but I didn't have any. So this is going to have to do. So on the little charm, I just added this little uh, glass bead with the stars inside, a key and a little handbag. That little handbag is actually a button that I cut the shank off of. So it just hangs right there. Okay, so on the front part, you know, for, to, for it to look like the little closure, um, that is just a little butterfly that I had in my stash that I, I don't know where I got it. I think I may have gotten it in a swap. And on the top, and it does stand on its own, the top, all I did was use some glitter paper and then a strip of this paper for the handle. And I did use the large eyelets to attach it to the top um, of the bag. And then the back is, is simple. I, I did nothing to the back. And then the bottom part, I just added another piece of paper on there. So it is actually very sturdy. Uh, oh, and on the under part of the paper, the back of the glitter paper is white. So I just painted it red. And that is all I did to the outside. I mean, I kept it very simple because, you know, it's a handbag. Um, so I open it up and right here, I just put this cute little girl. She's been in my stash like forever. Somebody sent her to me and she has been in there forever. And then a sticker that says, uh, shine bright. And that's a holographic sticker. And then I use more paper to line this. And here are the holes for the eyelets. And then when I open it all the way up, it's got a waterfall on either side. Now, I can um, put pictures, landscape or portrait, it doesn't matter, but I would probably, me, knowing me, I would probably choose all portrait on one side and all landscape on the other. So, and the center, you know, I kept it really simple and I did mat both sides of the um, waterfall pages. These are the only two that are different. And again, I kept them as twins everything is the same on one side as it is on the other so there's the other side of that one the other side of that one i don't know i just felt like it was a little more cohesive that way there you go and this is the background paper that i covered the the inside of the handbag with and that is it guys it was i mean really really super simple and it is uh closed it does have magnets for the closure it has two magnets one on each side so I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's really fast and uh, it comes together, I mean, really fast. So let me tell you, this is 10 inches by five inches. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was quick. I want you to know, guys, I love my mat. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe. Love you all.